Zell Boy Army, welcome to a very spicy one on the channel today. This is my first complete full tactic setup video of the year where I've got ultra defensive, defensive attacking, and ultra attacking tactics. This is the tactic that helped me go 8 and 1 in the playoffs to make the Foot Champs finals. Um, the team was also a lot worse than this. I've just spent my coins on Lorente, Carrasco, and Alba. Um, the team before was worth just over 100k, so really not a very good team. You do not need a pay to win team to be able to use this tactic, and I think it can suit all sorts of styles and has lots of different options in there. The main core of the tactic is going to be the 4 2 3 1 or the 4 3 1 2. Essentially, a little summary before we go in depth on the instructions and the tactic himself. The ultra defensive is a very negative park the bus one almost that you'd only use late on when they're all out press and you're just trying to see out the game. The defensive 4 2 3 1 is one that maybe you're a goal ahead, you're just trying to slow the game down, down control it, but not too negative. You could play this for the majority of the game if you prefer the 4 2 3 1, like possession more. The 4 3 1 2 is a more attacking one. This is what I play most of the game in. Um, you'll see it more in depth how it works, but it's quite an aggressive one, but it's not all out. And the 4 3 2 1 is my like, if I'm losing by a couple of goals and I need to really get back into the game, it's an all out tactic that I would only use in desperate times. For this video, I'm going to show you each tactic in depth, show you the instructions for each tactic. I'm not going to have gameplay in this one. Basically, it's been a mad rush the last few weeks. Um, been back and forth in London with Excel. But I will get gameplay this weekend league recorded. And then I will do a tactics video next week that shows the tactics in-game, how they work, and some specific examples of that. We're going to start off with the 4-2-3-1 defensive. Actually, we'll start off with the ultra defensive. We'll work our way there. So, this is only used when you're winning the game late on. Remember that. It is key to use tactics at the right time. Game management is a very important thing that a lot of people really don't do very good with. Um, but for me, this one's only really late on when they're pressing you. So we go drop back. We want everyone behind the ball. We're not desperate for trying to press them. We don't want to get caught out. Really low depth. You will have to cover the finesse shots here. Don't let the depth and drop back stop you from pressing for the finesse shots. You need to manually cut those off. Finesse shots are really good right now. Um, low width. We want our players compact in the middle. There's not too much to worry about out wide on this game. Um, build up play, long ball. Basically, you'd think, oh, go possession when you're trying to keep the ball. Oh, no, actually, possession's on the next one. We'll get to that. Um, I guess slow build up would be the one that would go with possession. You'd think slow build up, slow the game down, keep it. Doesn't really work on this game. We go long ball to try to get it over the top, beat the press. The only way to really deal with the press on this game is to beat the first line and get past it and then it's quite easy but if you can't beat it you're in trouble so we go for that we go direct passing long ball direct passing work quite well because simply put when you go um possession the players just make bad runs and just get caught lots of width to keep the ball the formation for this is the four two three one second variation similar to the four two three one just a little bit more negative lots of width to keep the ball um stay central gain behind stay forward on the striker i don't generally like getting behind because I think that it makes the players only really make that run when there's other runs sometimes but when it's long ball it's good to have a fast play up front to do that the cams come back on defense come back stay wide getting behind on the wingers you want getting behind again on the wingers for the long ball for them to run in behind and beat the press um, cut passing lanes stay back cover center on the CDMs uh, Marcus Lorente and this team should be playing um, where Dybala is I'm not sure what's happened there um, and the fullbacks stay back, centre backs stay back as well. So that's the ultra defensive. This one is one that you can maybe go when you're a goal up, or you just prefer a slower playstyle controlling the game. I enjoy the four three one two more, but this is a very viable, good tactic that you could use for a whole game. It is in the four two three one. Forty width, forty depth. Nothing too crazy there. Balanced. Um, I'm not trying to press. I'm not trying to sit too deep. Balance, balance, it's a very simple tactic. The 4 2 3 one's very simple but very effective. Um, quite a lot of players in the box. You could lower it to try and get more finesses. I like lots of players on corners, to be honest. Just have more players around the box, get a silly bounce that goes my way. Um, the instructions, stay central, stay forward. Come back on all the cams. Cover wing, I sometimes put. It depends in this formation because I've got the fullbacks on stay back. I don't think I need 
the cover wing as much. I like the CDM to just cover the middle and protect it, but it's up to you. Um, I go balance, balance, just to make it not too negative. A key one is I put step up on the less physical centre back. I want the more physical centre back to be the one covering the through balls in behind. But step up's really good at literally stepping up and pressing someone. It's good at dealing with finesse shots too. And then stay back on my full backs. What is that Twitter notification I've got? Yep, side. I keep getting emails by the same people, by the way, boys. It's annoying when you get sponsor emails that you're just not interested in. They won't take no for an answer. The attack one. This is the main one that I use for the majority of the game. This is my favourite tactic so far in the game. I do think the 4 2 3 one's arguably better because it's more consistent. But this is a very good tactic for dominating games. I enjoy it more because it's more attacking. Lots of attacking options and putting yourself on the front foot. The 4 3 one, 2 similar to the narrow diamond. Fairly normal width. Very high depth with press after possession loss. I basically want to be in their face. Winning the ball back. You get some free goals off of this. Balance, balance in general, I think is the most easy way to do build-up play that's consistent. Low width, because I've got lots of men in the middle. I want that to be where most of my attack's going through. Lots of corners and free kicks. Stay central, stay forward of the strikers to be an outlet. The cams come back on defense just so he helps defend. Cover center on the middle center mid. You want your middle center mid to be the best defensive one. He's going to be a key part in this team. Pace is quite useful here to cover the ground. And defend a lot for you. I put cover wing on the two outside centre mids so they can cover the overlapping fullbacks. You need width on FIFA, so I put my fullbacks on balanced attack overlap. You could go join the attack. I do think it's a little bit overkill, but overlap's vital because they need to provide width to pull men out to open up space in the middle. But um, yeah, that's a very good tactic that I really enjoy playing. Um, it's a bit risky, but I think it's very effective and one of the best formations in the game right now. And then my ultra attacking, like I say, desperate times call for desperate measures. This is a very desperate formation tactic to get back into the game. Constant pressure. We're probably even going to up the width a little bit. Um, it's very rare that I have to go to this tactic, but I will if I need. 100 depth, 4 3 2 1, very good attacking formation this year. Um, fast build up forward runs. I do not like fast build up or forward runs in general because it just leaves you with only options to go forward but in this you're trying to win the ball high up and go straight for goal so it works lots of players in the box all the men up for corners free kicks and then stay central target man i've put on the striker i want him to hold the ball up so the players um around him can make runs in behind again behind stay forward on the outside forward you could go get forward on the outside center mids but i don't think you need them i put stay back on the middle center mid so he can cover the ground and not leave me too open to the counter attacks Join the attack overlap on the um, fullbacks. Step up on one of the centre-backs still, because I just think that's very effective in general. Um, and then from there, it's very risky, but it will get you back into some games. I, I would much rather lose a game by five goals, um, because I've gone all out attack, than just lose it by two without any chance of getting back into the game. That's my philosophy. Game management's key. That's why I've given you lots of different options here, different tactics. You don't need to copy my tactics exact. I think they are pretty much plug and play, but you might want to adapt them to suit your team, suit how you want to play a bit more. That's the beauty of tactics on FIFA. I appreciate your guys' support. We'll be getting some gameplay from my weekend league to show you how these tactics work um, in game. Appreciate you guys always. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep it spicy.